Civilian engineers believe it will cost more than $3 trillion to fix our nation's crumbling infrastructure. Often it takes a major disaster to get the conversation started, but Elaine Cajano shows us how one group of engineers isn't waiting to find answers. She's near the Manhattan Bridge and here in New York City. Elaine, good morning. Good morning to you, Nora and Charlie. Uh, well, the Manhattan Bridge behind me each workday carries some half a million commuters to and from uh, Manhattan. Now, this suspension bridge was built more than 100 years ago, and now engineers at Columbia University are working to ensure that it's ready for modern challenges. This is a 9,000 wire. 22 inch uh, bridge cable as you would find on the Manhattan Bridge. Inside the Carlton Lab at Columbia University's School of Engineering, researchers use modern tools to simulate what can happen to aging infrastructure under a range of stresses. From the impact of weather, so we had sun lamps, we had rain nozzles, to man made disasters. This is a universal testing machine, which is a very fancy term for a machine that can crush things and rip them apart. This test is designed to mimic the impact of a tanker fire on a bridge cable. What happened just then? So here we had a cascading failure. Uh, a couple of wires had already broken due to the uh, heat loading and then just more and more of the weakened wires essentially fractured until the entire bundle failed. Andrew Smith is the lab's director of research. How critical do you think that kind of work is? I think it's absolutely essential. These are parts of our infrastructure that are really irreplaceable in many ways. We've become to depend and rely on them to such an extent that really we just need to sustain them for forever, or at least for the foreseeable future. And what's interesting about infrastructure is people only worry about it when, of course, there's a catastrophe. Like in 2007, when the I-35 West Bridge in Minneapolis collapsed, dumping cars into the water and killing 13 people. Or last year, when a tractor-trailer crash destroyed a bridge on a major route between Seattle and Canada. So these are the wires that make up the main cable of a bridge. Raymond D'Addazio, who runs a structural engineering firm here in New York City, uses data from Columbia's lab to upgrade some of New York's most famous structures, including the Manhattan Bridge. This really gives you the confidence to know that your model, your results of your analysis, your design of your retrofit are, are going to work. 